on these bases ready to rally. But for President Obama was yesterday's win, tomorrow's loss. Let's talk. We have Jonathan Cowan, third wave president and co-founder, Todd Schnitt, nationally syndicated radio host, and Mark Simone, my buddy, host on WABC Radio. All right, let me go to Jonathan. I'm sure you're going to disagree with me the most, and welcome to the show. But look, at, you know all these numbers. He's raised, what, 4.6 million, 47,000 people have donated 4 4.6 million, Todd, or Jonathan, in just 24 hours. And what's interesting is Rasmussen's polling still shows that 54% want repeal. These are likely voters. These numbers haven't changed in over two years. So well, I well, think well, uh, that your man Obama is really saddled with a losing proposition. Uh, unfortunately, Larry, and I'm thrilled to be on the show, you have it totally wrong and completely backwards. <laughs> this is a huge, huge win for Obama. Look, first of, first of all, imagine if Obama had lost this, it would have been devastating. He would have looked like a weak leader and Americans like nothing less than a president, even when they disagree with, than weakness. But this was a huge victory for him. It gives him a chance to reframe the health care debate, make sure that he is selling the benefits of it, and most importantly, let's just keep this in mind, Mind. Mitt Romney's the worst possible salesman to argue the other side. Uh, the, the tax that the Supreme Court just said was a tax, it's a Romney tax. It's the same thing he did in Massachusetts. All so right. in every possible way, this is a win and a big one for right. Obama. Nice going. I knew you'd agree with me. I want to update the numbers. I got <laughs> new numbers hot off the press. 5.5 million have come in for Romney. The source is thehill.com, which is an excellent website. Uh, Mark Simone, people hate Obamacare. They think it's going to bankrupt the country. They see their insurance costs and premiums going up, not down. They're losing their personal freedom. They don't want to pay higher taxes. And this guy, John Roberts, your pal, the head of the Supreme Court, he is now the biggest taxer in the country. John Roberts is the biggest taxer in the country, and people are going to hate him, too. Well, if you read his decision, though, he made it quite clear that uh, th this law probably stinks, but it's up to the voters to get rid of it and not, and not him. You know, you can tell it stinks. The Democrats know it stinks. Otherwise, why did they make it not kick in until 2013? If it was going to be great, everybody would love it. They'd have it start in 2011 to help his reelection. You know how you can tell when something's bad when you've got to hire 15,000 IRS agents to enforce <laughs> it? You know, when it's, if it was great, you'd have to hire 15,000 security guards to control the line for it. And Tachnet, uh, I just want to say, look, this is a tremendous opening for Romney. There can be no doubt about that, with all due respect to my friend Jonathan Cowan. Romney's got to make the case, seems to me, that the economy, which is so anemic, that job creation, which is so anemic, is in fact linked to Obamacare. In other words, uh, uh, I'm saying, Todd, it's a twofer. He's got to say, Obamacare bad, Obamacare stopping businesses from hiring and investing, and that's one of the reasons why the economy is so terrible, and we got to clear this whole thing out. Doesn't he have to link the two and then make that case? Absolutely. Larry, you have it right. Mark, you have it right. Jonathan, you have it wrong. Romney now has a combo platter. Romney hit the Powerball. Now, not that he needs it personally, but politically, I think he hit the Powerball here because Romney now, it's not only the economy which he has to drive home, it is Obamacare and the encroachment on civil liberties, but you're 100% correct. This is an economy killer. D do you know how many small business owners that I know that have been waiting for this decision? They have been afraid to hire, and Larry, they're continuing to be afraid to hire, they're not going to hire. That's the, that, that's the real problem. The unemployment number is now going to be frozen through November. That's going to kill Obama. And also the absurdity of this, you know, uh, Democrats now want every citizen to prove they have insurance, yet they don't ever want anybody to ever prove they're a citizen. Wait, whoa, wait, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 Jonathan wait, wait, Cowan, wait, that's, a, wait, that's a great yeah. point by Mark Simone. What, what's now, your response to that? Yeah, look, I, I, I don't agree. A tiny number of Americans, let's just get this straight. What Mitt Romney is for is he's for freeloaders. What his position is is that if you currently don't have health insurance, but you use health care, the middle class should pay for it. Obama's position is exactly the opposite, exactly the opposite. So look, when we get to the fall, this election is going to be decided but, on health care. It's Jonathan, not going to be decided on health care. It's going to be decided, yes. Jonathan, watch this point. Look, 
I, the issue of freeloading, which is an exaggerated issue, you don't have to nationalize the whole health care system <laughs> in order to deal with a couple of people who go to the emergency ward. And your second point is more to the point. This is going to be about the economy. And the economy is so anemic. I hate to use this word, but it really stinks. And I'm a perpetual optimist. I want the economy to do better. And what I'm saying is, you got John Roberts, this new justice, who is the biggest taxer in the country, who has now given us Obamacare in spades, which in turn is giving us a terrible economy. Now, Mitt Romney, he's really got a trifecta, Jonathan, and I don't see how your man, Mr. Obama, gets out of that. Look, if I were Mitt Romney, I would not want to be the guy arguing against the health care law that's basically the same thing I passed in my state. I wouldn't want to be the guy who's actually having to say, well, I've got a different economic plan, even though he hasn't really come up with a clear economic plan. And, and lastly, I'd rather be in Obama's position. The economy, just look at the previous segment you had. There's good economic news. They're getting their house in order in Europe. By the time we get to this election, people are, many independent voters are going to say, I think Obama is on the right track. Uh, you know, I want to continue uh, this. Enough of this. You know, the bottom line is, is that Obama won yesterday and he's going to lose in November. This is Romney's race now. He now has a two-fisted fight now. He can go after the economy. He can go after this hideous law, this encroachment on civil liberties called Obamacare, and but, he can but, get but it. But it's, listen, but listen, it's Rom it's but it's, it's, Romney it's game care. over. How can, it's, how can it's, he go listen, after it's it's game over. How can he go after Romney, his own law? The, 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 the deal has been sealed. You know, I have a lot of physician friends, and I have asked the last two days on my radio talk show, The Schnitt Show, I have asked physicians only. I've done whole blocks on my show with physicians only calling in. It is 99% of practicing physicians, surgeons, specialists, uh, general practitioners, internists. They can't stand will, this look, law. It's a reduction in quality. It's rationing. We're going to have a board of 15 individuals. We're going to have a board of 15 individuals that are going to decide look, whether you, your look, mom you, gets a hip no, replacement no, no, you, if she look, falls down. You are yes, demagogue. Simone, you are, Mark, you are, Mark, you are Simone, demagoguing just, the law and you're wrong about it. I'll make you two no, bets. No, no, Obama's going to win. I, I, I got to get Mark back in. I yeah. got to get Mark back into this. Um, Mark Simone, if, if people were going to like Obamacare, they would have already liked Obamacare. This is the thing I don't get. People do not like Obamacare. That's what Rasmussen polls show. That's what every darn poll shows. So what I'm suggesting is Mr. Obama may have won a, a small constitutional victory uh, yesterday, but it's going to be at great political cost. And what they used to say was a tax, uh, not a tax, has now been proven to be a tax. In fact, President Obama and John Roberts are the two biggest taxers in America, and I think people hate both of them. And Mitt Obama's, Romney, I, I President want Obama Mitt, swore up and down that this Romney. wasn't going to be a tax. He swore that this wasn't going to be a tax. We've got a Supreme Court ruling that he lied. And also, if you keep saying this is based on Romney care, then you're admitting the one big grand plan that Obama came up with, he stole from Mitt Romney. All right, but I'm, I'm happy to take that, because that means that Romney's not in a position to critique it. It's actually pretty much the same as his plan. And by But the then time you're not in a position no, 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 to take listen. credit for no. it. It's Romney's no. plan. Yeah, Mitt, Mitt Romney has a golden opportunity here. He can explain what was wrong with the Massachusetts law. It's also states' rights versus a federal mandate. Listen, Mitt Romney, look at me. Look at me, Schnitt. Mitt Romney, <laughs> this is a golden opportunity. Explain what is wrong with Obamacare. Explain how you will replace and it. And link it to the economy, Todd. He must link it to the Absol economy. Absolutely. Businesses, yeah. large and small, if, have if frozen if, if, hiring I, I, I because of the cost today, of Obamacare if, and the regulations and the mandates, Jonathan. I if, think the linkage of Obamacare to the anemic economy is a killer for your he, man. He, I'll give you he, the last word. He, he's not going to be able to do it because of what your other guest said. It doesn't kick into 2014. And here's the bottom line. There, the, I'll predict two things. Obama's going to win, and we are never going to repeal this South Care law. Ultimately, yeah. Americans are going to want the stability yeah. security enjoy the, they enjoy got. The we, we won't settle it tonight. En enjoy we, we, the crappy health care. We'll have to settle it another evening. Jonathan Cowan, thank you very much. Todd Schnitt and my pal Mark Simone. Up next tonight, with these expanded federal tax powers, will the IRS know about every business in America, big and small? Every